Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, you know, for a while now, I've been wanting to set up an indoor, little indoor hydroponics test grow thing here. And so I finally got it. It's not finished by no means. Um, but it's coming along. I got some more work to do. So let me scan back over here. What I got here, this is an experiment, okay? Um, which, just a lot of variables in this experiment. But these all came out of the same tray. This is kale here. Um, the one on the right is in just straight cracky setup in the bucket, no air stone, no nothing. I got two CFL lights in that lamp right there. Um, one's a 2700K, one's a 6500K. Uh, the bucket here to the left, it does have an air stone in it, and both of those lights are 6500K. The reason I don't have two 6500Ks in there is because I just didn't have them. So. I mean, I know from what I've done in the research on, 6,500K should be good for greens and so forth, uh, and um, the 2,700K more for blooming plants. But even with the blooming plants, I think I'm going to run a 65 and a 27 in the same out outlet here. Uh, but anyways, that's one little experiment I got going with the kale. Right here, a little Brussels sprout with a, uh, it's got air going to it. This light is actually going to go you know over top of it like that i got my little you know and this this bucket here it's going to be for i'm thinking i want to get a tomato cutting off a pretty nice tomato plant i still got going on outside um just a little bench here it's a little messy there's my light rig nothing fancy hope you guys could see i know it probably got a little dark right there sorry about that and over here a couple peppers that you know these were kind of in bad shape um but this one here's got some nice growth coming back on it uh, there is a nice pepper in there still. Some peppers on the back of this plant. I need to really kind of trim this one up a little bit, but I uh, kind of let these go. Let them get in really bad shape. So, you know, I'm going to see if I can get them back back up here. Uh, this one's got to lie a little bit further. You know, just again, once again, doing some experimentation. And if you look, I still have the light of the window too. Now, this is a eastern facing window. So, you know, it should help it out. Um, I want to get this cleaned up in here and make it look a little bit more better. But actually, it's a nice little tight little setup. This is about this, the footprint of this is about probably 16 square foot. That's it. So, and it's kind of in my laundry room. It doesn't really bother nobody. You know, there wasn't really nothing going on here. If I had to look at the two kales, though, if you look at it, they've been in this, this bucket here for probably mm, three or four days now. The one on the left, if you look, the two buckets, you got the cracky on the right and the one with the air on the left the left seems to be doing a little bit better um once again light factor two to go with that the other one is only got one 6500k so anyways there it goes okay nice little indoor setup there i plan on doing a bunch of stuff this way oh by the way you know if you haven't been if you've been looking for a price how much it costs to run these lights this light fixture right here the way i have it set let me see if i can turn it it's going to blind you but I'm not going to turn it up, but anyways, it's got a Y in it, two bulbs. So I'd say for the fixture and the light, total cost probably. Actually, I had these laying around, so it wasn't that much to me. But I mean, if you went to go buy it, um, it's like about 11 bucks for the 12-inch dome. Two light bulbs is probably I don't know, seven or eight bucks maybe. So about 18 dollars. And I was thinking about making my own, and I may still do that. But this was pretty convenient to have laying around, and. Um, like I say, it seems to be doing a pretty good job so far. And the cost, I was looking at the cost of these bulbs, it's really pennies, man. So this cracky setup with this bulb setup, it works really good. You want to grow some greens indoors? My goodness. You know, I mean, really, between this, the, the nutrients, the light and everything, it's probably only going to be literally a couple bucks. You know, that kale you can keep harvesting off of. So anyways, if you're thinking about doing a little bit of indoor growing, power some greens. I don't even want to get adventurous and try some blooming plants, but that's down the line. I at least want to get this start, this part settled first. But anyways, hey guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and let me know. I'll keep this cracky experiment going so you guys can I'll update it on a weekly basis. That way we can all see what uh, the difference is between the two. Thanks again, once again for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you like it. Don't like it, hit the don't like button and just let me know. You know, why? Be nice to know. Alright? Hey, y'all have a great one. Take it easy. Bye.